Truckee. He's an engineer, he's a green builder, he's an author. As a matter of fact, he's got When Technology Fails. I don't know if that's the name of the most current uh, no, book. Well, yeah, I mean, this one is basically the most current, and it's a prepping and survival guide. So this one is, is like green living, sustainable living, prepping, survival, all of those wrapped into one. So some people said, well, I don't care about all that green stuff. And I just, or they want something small for their go bag, and they said there's no way I'm putting that second feeding in my go bag. So, so Matt has two presentations today. The first one, of course, Party Like It's 1929, and um, he is the essence of green living. I tell you, that's we've had him in in prior green living festivals, and he just hits it right on the head. Please welcome Matt Steiner. <laughs> so here's some handouts you can pass if anybody wants them. <clears throat> now, I like to ask people, it's a small group, so, you know, if you guys decide there's something that I'm not talking about in here, you want to ask me questions about, we get it done soon enough, then feel free to. Do you get enough? Okay. Uh, how many of you think that we can keep going the way we're going and everything's going to be okay? Okay. Is that real? No. Or facetious? Anyway, how many of you think that we passed the tipping point and that no matter what we do, we're, we're headed for the giant train wreck that are going off the cliff? Okay. Yeah. And now, how many of you people think that we stand a chance if we get knocked around really badly of perhaps <coughs> making the, the drastic changes we need to do to make a sustainable world where we don't like totally crash everything? So in a sense, you're over the edge, but you also think maybe we, we might luck out uh, and make it. So. I mean, humans are pretty adaptable. Right. Uh, I'm not sure our current lifestyle will survive, but... Well, I know the current survive. lifestyle won't survive, but yes. humans are pretty adaptable. But the question is, like, if, if we screw up the planet so much to a point where we can't adapt to it, then, then, you know, then that's it. Okay. So how far are you like it's 1929? Oops, wrong question. Not used to just perfect. There we go. So back in... My grandparents' age, many of your grandparents' age, somebody knew in each town how to make, grow, or fabricate pretty much everything that was needed for a reasonable standard of living. And most of that knowledge is, is either lost or you know hidden in a closet somewhere right now. And so back in 1929, this was, you know, this was this was America. We had it was right before the Dust Bowl, so the Dust Bowl was right after that. Uh, we had you know, massive foreclosures and unemployments. A lot like now, I think if we didn't have the safety nets and uh, the, the financial things that the government's done in the last seven or eight years, that we really would have seen a, a total defeat in 1929.